happen. Hello everyone, this is Miss Nikki Ann. Um, just doing a dysautonomia pod chronic illness. <laughs> Take your pick update. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm in a flare still. And I had the nerve to um, go to yoga, take a yoga class on Saturday, and um, it made the flare worse. It wasn't um, gentle yoga or restorative yoga, it was just regular yoga. Intro to yoga, but still, the movement sent me into an episode. As soon as I put my arms above my head, and my mom later said, well, excuse me, well, why did you do that? <laughs> and I'm like, well, you never know until you test it out. You know, every once in a while, I like to give it a test and see if it's still, if the symptoms and the reactions are still the same. It's the same. And so that episode is still lingering, believe it or not. Um, that was Saturday, today's Monday, and I'm still a little tachycardic. I'm still not quite right. And, um, and then my five-year-old had been sick, and so yesterday I just uh, wanted to get him out the house and, and um, let him walk a bit, and so that made it worse, trying to get him out made my situation worse and it's not as if we walked far but you know when you're flaring like this and I'm having a, a dysautonomia and autoimmune flare at the same time I've, I've figured out the difference on my own it's taking time to be like well mm, that's a little bit more autoimmune than dysautonomia so um, before it started off as more autoimmune and each day the dysautonomia is just being set off. Um, I do know um, that the gentle yoga and the restorative yoga, uh, I'll go back to that. And I'll do it at home and also go to the same venue, but be more skillful and mindful that my body still has these reactions. And um, I just, uh, my group meditation, um, my group mates, we had been saying we need to go together, you know, um, and also our doctor, um, our psych psychologist recommends, you know, yoga for us since we all we meditate and then we all have chronic illness and issues. So we were like, finally, well, let's just go. We keep putting it off and we just wanted to go as a group because what we found even with group meditation is that there's a different energy when you are doing something collectively with people and it's um, therapeutic in a different way than when you're doing it on your own as an individual and so it was great in that way to be in a collective group and do yoga um, emotionally I felt great physically I felt like shit <laughs> and so um, gonna give that a break for today but I think I'll go back for the restorative yoga, which is um, was was created for people with chronic illnesses and uh, injuries and things like that. And so, hope, hopefully, it'll help restore me back to where I was before I set off the the pots issue with the yoga. And so, I think that's mainly uh, what I wanted to mention today. Then was um, you know being skillful. But at least, you know, sometimes you just have to know, like, am I still having these reactions to certain things? And I know. <laughs> and that's it. And I pray that all is well for everyone else. Um, the UK pop scenes, I've been watching all of your videos. Um, I've gotten um, some great uh, comments from people, responses, um, just across the internet with some other things I've been doing, and um, I've been watching the Teen Potsies, and I've been watching the Five Potsies, um, they haven't done anything too recently, and just connecting with um, um, Dysautonomia um, 
MD as well, um, finally connected with her. And so, yeah, moving right along with the um, advocacy for uh, dysautonomia and so forth. But that's it. It's Monday. Um, I'm flaring. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. <laughs> so um, let's all make the best of the health we do have and be skillful and mindful of the choices we make within our, our dysautonomic bodies and minds. All right. <laughs>